Hi guys, Lewis here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Coda, especially if you're a beginner. Coda is an incredible tool for creating collaborative documents that combine the flexibility of documents, spreadsheets, and apps all in one place. If you're managing a project, organizing your personal tasks, or building a custom workflow, Coda has got you covered. In this video, I'll show you how to sign up for Coda, take you through the dashboard overview, and guide you on how to create your first document. Finally, I'll also show you how to integrate Coda with other platforms. So let's dive in and get started. If you're not already familiar with Coda, let me give you a quick overview. Coda is a next generation productivity platform that brings together words, data, and teams into one customizable workspace. It's ideal for anyone who needs to streamline their work from project managers and content creators to educators and entrepreneurs. What makes Coda stand out is its flexibility. You can build anything from a simple to-do list to a full-fledged app, all without needing to write any code. Plus, it integrates seamlessly with tools like Google Workspace, Slack, and more. Now, let me show you how you can sign up for a Coda account. The process is straightforward, and I'll guide you step by step. First, go to coda.io. Once you're on the home page, look for the Get Started for Free button, which is located in the center of the page. Click on it to begin the sign-up process. Next, you'll see a welcome screen with several sign-up options. You can sign up using your Google account, Microsoft account, SSO account, or your work email. For this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to sign up using a Google account. Click the Google icon and a pop-up window will appear asking you to choose a Google account. Select the account you want to use and grant the necessary permissions to proceed. After completing the sign-up process, you'll land on the Coda dashboard. Let's take a look at the Coda interface. On the left-hand side, you'll notice a vertical menu that contains the main tabs of your account. The first option on the left menu is Admin Settings. Here, you can learn about workspace stats, manage members, explore packs, handle billing, and more. Next up, there is the main workspace. Here, you can access and manage all your documents and projects. Then there is My Shortcuts, a section designed for saving frequently used documents or templates, making them easily accessible whenever you need them. Below this, the Manage Templates tab lets you browse, create, and edit templates to simplify your workflows and save time. Another tab is Packs, which allows you to integrate third-party tools and services directly into your Coda workspace. Next up, the icons enable you to customize your documents and workspace with visual elements. If you're working with a team, the Members and group section helps you invite collaborators or organize groups efficiently. Below the main menu, you'll find the folders section, which includes My Docs for storing your personal documents and an option to create new folders for better organization. At the top right corner of the interface, there are additional options to explore. The Resources tab provides access to help articles and guides to assist you in using Coda effectively. Next, the gallery showcases templates and examples to inspire your projects. The Pricing option allows you to to explore and compare different plans available for Coda. Notifications keep you updated with important changes or updates related to your workspace. Finally, the profile menu lets you manage your account settings and preferences. That's a quick overview of the Coda interface. With all these tools and features available, you'll be ready to create and collaborate on powerful documents in no time. Hey, quick interruption. Are you searching for the most efficient way to manage your business, life, or finances? Well, I'm excited to share a valuable resource with you all. We've developed top-notch Notion templates to streamline your business operations, enhance your personal organization, and optimize your financial management. Click the link down in the description of this video to check it out. All right, back to the video. Now, let me show you how you can create a document in Coda. To get started, make sure you are on your Workspace tab. Once there, you will notice two options in the top right side, Templates and Blank Doc. If you want to use a pre-built structure for your document, the Templates option is ideal. It offers a variety of ready-made designs that cater to different needs and save you time. On the other hand, if you prefer to start fresh and build your documents from scratch, you can select the Blank Doc option. For this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to create a document using a template. So click the Templates button, which will open a library of templates for various purposes. You can search for a specific template using the search bar, import one from your computer or gallery, or simply browse through the preloaded options available. In this demo, we will select third template, Meeting Notes. Once you locate it, hover over the Meeting Notes template and you will see two options, Use Template and Preview. Preview allows you to examine the template before making a decision. For now, click on the Use Template button to proceed directly. After you click Use Template, you will be taken to the Document Editor, where you can customize the template.
Here, you'll see all the sections and fields of the selected template laid out clearly, and you can adjust them the way you want. To start customizing, you can click on any text field to edit its content. For example, you can replace the placeholder text in the agenda section with your own topics or meeting details. The notes and date columns can also be updated to reflect specific details relevant to your project or meeting. You can also add new rows or columns by clicking the small plus icons at the bottom left edges of the table. Just hover over it and you will see the option new row appear. Click on it to add a new row. You can add as many rows as you want. Similarly, if you want to add a column, just hover over the right edge of the table and you will see a plus button appear. And you can click on it to add more columns as needed. This is especially useful if you need to include additional information or expand the scope of your document. The editor also allows you to change the visual style of the template. You could modify the font, color scheme, or even add icons to make the document more visually appealing. Finally, once you've customized the template, you can share it with others by clicking the share button at the top right corner. This makes collaboration easy as team members can access and edit the document in real time. Lastly, let me show you how you can integrate Coda with other platforms. To integrate it with other apps, click the Packs tab in the left menu. This will take you to the Packs page where you'll see a variety of integration options. From here, you can connect Coda with apps like Salesforce, Jira, Google Sheets, Gmail, and more. Each of these integrations is available as a subscription, which means they come with a cost and are not free. Let's say you want to integrate Coda with Gmail to send and receive emails directly from your document. So click on the Gmail option. A pop-up window will appear showing you the subscription pricing for this integration. If you're ready to proceed, click the Try It button. This will open another small pop-up where you can select the document you want to integrate Gmail with. Once you've made your decision, you will be directed to another tab. In the new tab, you'll find an Upgrade button. If you click, it will allow you to upgrade your plan to enable the Gmail integration. Once upgraded, you can fully utilize the subscription to streamline your workflow and access Gmail functionality directly within your Coda document. Integrating Coda with other platforms is a great way to enhance its capabilities and create a more seamless workflow, especially if you rely on multiple tools to manage your projects. Coda is a next generation productivity platform that brings together words, data and teams into one customizable workspace. It's ideal for anyone who needs to streamline their work from project managers and content creators to educators and entrepreneurs. What makes Coda stand out is its flexibility. You can build anything from a simple to-do list to a full-fledged app, all without needing to write any code. Plus, it integrates seamlessly with tools like Google Workspace, Slack, and more. And that's it for this tutorial. Today, we covered how to sign up for Coda, explored its interface, created and customized your first document, and even learned how to integrate it with other platforms. I hope this tutorial made everything clear and easy to follow. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any questions or want to share your experience with Coda, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care.